Hey guys, this is Matt with Speedhouse. Um, beside me here, I have John Paul's F80. We're getting ready to start the airlift uh, installation on this. We're gonna use all airlift performance suspension on it, flow air tank, and um, fire compressors. Follow along for this installation, we'll go through it. You can follow John on Instagram at StormtrooperF80. His plate's here for the spelling. Stay tuned. So now I've got, I'm down to the point where I'm getting ready to pull this out. Um, got everything disconnected and everything already loose. Um, so we're gonna just pull the KW out. Now we are switching this over to airlift performance struts. And you might ask why we're going from coilovers to airlift. Uh, well, John particularly shows this car. So he wants the best of both worlds. Um, he's not a big track guy. You know, if you're spending every weekend out at the track or something, it might be a different story. In this case, for normal driving plus shows, works out great. These struts are fully adjustable on their dampening, so he'll be able to maintain all of the control that he had from the factory. And then uh, I'll just swing this back up, button all the suspension back up, slam it in. We just finished the front. All the basic insulation is done there, everything other than the lines. We will do that at the very end once we're plumbing the tank and the management, getting ready to start on the rear. This retains the factory cup that sits in the body. Position our bags face forward. So what I'm doing now, starting the process of running the airlines. Um, we're going to mock these up per corner. What I'll do is I'll take each corner run them through the car, and I'll cut off a couple of feet of slack. I'm gonna bring all four corners down to this area. We have the compressors mounted underneath the car. Um, there's a couple of grommets and some other things that could be access points once we study those and get a final game plan. Then you'll have the four lines from the corners go through the body of the car up into the trunk area. And then at that point, we will be completely done on the bottom side. Hey guys, all right, we just finished wrapping up the mechanical side of the air ride. All the suspension's in, the lines are pre-ran to the back of the car. From this point on, I'll turn it over to Cameron. He will take over and do all of the trunk setup, the management, and the rest of the plumbing. So far, I've kind of made some mounts for the compressors to put them under the vehicle. Uh, right now, getting the interior of the vehicle taken apart so that we can you know, start running some of the wiring for the air management, get the air lines from outside, inside, I think it's about kind of caught up where we're at. Um, just right now is kind of the transition from, okay, we have this stuff that just bolts in to now having to actually create our stuff. But once everything's planned out, it'll start coming together pretty quick. Oh boy, it's another time to give y'all an update. Just doing some leak checks. I had a leak in the rear tire right here and I also had just a tank leak. So went ahead and pulled down a little cover that I had. So y'all can actually see the compressors mounted, everything tucked up nice and neat. Um, here in a second, I'm gonna put the cover back on and then drop it down, start putting everything together, kind of show y'all taking apart. <laughs> Don't need looking at me like this. I have to use a wrench because something ate my wrench. This compressor is uh, tucked up nice and neat. It's actually got some waterproofing and some shielding. Uh, not really gonna worry about water ingress. With this one being turned around and the filter facing this way, this does help with that. So, keeps the factory look, hides everything nice and neat and tight. I'm securing it, okay. It's a kangaroo! Oh my gosh, it's a roof! All we gotta do, this is actually pretty much just press fits with a little bit of Velcro on the bottom. Just nice and neat into our little hole. And then just start throwing the lines on one by one. Try not to scratch them up too bad.
All right, so that kind of wraps up the little double episode thing that we did with the switching from coilovers to a bag setup. It's the actual product of the the finished product with the bags. The M3 that we put the coilovers on will either be on our social media or maybe Trevor's going to throw it in on YouTube somewhere. But next time you're going to see this is when this dude does some magic, gives us the pretty stuff, and actually shows y'all what it looks like on the ground.